Howdy, 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 all you cool cats and kittens. Look at this black screen. We're currently fighting with Portal 2, which was released many moons ago. I think when Direct X9 was released, and it is currently not having fun with OBS. So I am troubleshooting it. But we figured we'd jump on so you guys didn't miss us so much. So, with that said, uh, Berkeley, what's the plan today? The plan today is to do some tests. We're gonna we're gonna try to outsmart the robots as robots. We're gonna do some portals. We're gonna move some uh, edgeless safety cubes. <laughs> we're gonna run away from some laser robots oh i think that worked i excellent. see uh see the game excellent all right um we it still says we're playing redactyl though i we will have to though. go in and change that that's yes that's something i have to do in twitch so now we're gonna look like gray squares because of the way that discord uh decides whether or not the the video chat that should be populated, uh, which is fun. Everything fun. has something about it that's finicky. We love it. One thing about Jared and I is we just love technology so much, and we're so good at it all the time, <laughs> and it never frustrates or baffles us. <laughs> that is, yes, that's that's accurate. All right. We are playing Portal 2 today. All right. That should be up to date. Nice. Our video's back on. And meat's back on the menu. Mm-hmm. I wonder if Peter Jackson regrets putting that line in that film. Oh boy, definitely not. How could you regret such an iconic piece of cinema that that one line is? Oh, Jared, our uh, our cameras aren't back. Okay. Can you just try waking up Discord? I will do that. Is that any different? There's a bit of a delay, so I can't see yet. Oh, yep, yeah, we're back. Nice. All right. Now to keep watching it. Did it go away again or is it still good to go? Still looking good. Awesome. All right. Oh, no, it went away again. Okay. So that might be a limitation of how Portal is doing its thing. Let's see what okay. we can do about that. Just hide our faces completely. Um, we could do that, or we could do this. So I'm running portal in windowed mode now, which should make it a little easier for Discord to be happy, and then we'll move this back over here. Did it come back? Yes, I think good. Did it stay back? Hard to tell since of how I'm trapped in the past. <laughs> uh, looking good so far. Okay. All right. Well, chat, if there's problems, let us know. If the game audio is too loud, let us know. That's something we've been struggling with on this game. Um, it being really loud for you guys, but not that loud for us. So if something's not working right, speak up and we'll fix it probably or we'll tell you yep. why we can't fix it babarma says we look marvelous ah thanks thank you babarma uh, how'd you get up there i gotta solve um, the puzzle to solve the puzzle <laughs> if you want i can get you up here i can uh just let me uh if you oh wait no oh you did it good job welcome oh man i really wanted to push you off the edge all right. 
we're back at it with the shenanigans this time. That's part we of the fun of the game. Here. Yes, it is. Well, thanks for bearing with us, chat. It's 12 minutes after we meant to start, but we're we're ready to portal away. We're we are moving. We are still alive, and that's enough. Jared, today when I was posting on Instagram on our story about the fact that we were going to play Portal today, uh, I was looking for like a sticker that I could use to represent Portal because there's a Junimo sticker on Instagram stories that I use for Stardew Valley. But I searched everything I could think of and couldn't find one that was like actually Portal specific. So I just found a generic looking Portal not oh. associated with the game Portal. It looked pretty good. I was surprised. I, I didn't realize that was generic. I was looking at that and it looked about right. It was a little more movie than these are, you know? Yeah. But still pretty good. Yeah, I'm just, I was a little disappointed that there wasn't, I'm, I'm glad with the one I found, but the disappointed that there wasn't a better one. I searched Aperture, I searched Gladys, I searched, uh, what else did I search? Um, Maybe just those two. <laughs> and Portal, of course. <laughs> Run for your lives. You know, this game really thought that would work. came out before social media got really big. You know? That's kind of mm. weird to think about, actually. That this game, it looks pretty modern, and it's very futuristic in its um, concept, I would say. Like, overall, very modern game, I feel. But, uh -huh. yeah just way ahead of its time i guess yeah that makes sense all right you wanted a portal there and a portal there Ooh. ow well once i get up here i can put a portal there and <laughs> throw myself back through the hole <laughs> okay hang on hang on there's I think awesome. I think we want one up here. Okay, so I'll go through. Oh, hang on. There we go. And then put it there and crush myself on the it's ceiling dead. because okay. I used the wrong one. They wouldn't be tested. All right. I feel like there's got to be a way to. not get instantly killed by that turret, you know? Oh, definitely. That's just really what I would like. Oh, that wasn't the way. Did you know the reassembling machine has <laughs> other things it could be reassembling? Oh, no. No, no, no. That wasn't it. I was thinking this would be a good game for us to play while we're both, you know, a little... We're a little extra tired today. Yeah. I don't know if that's coming across. But I think... I'm starting to think maybe I was wrong about that. I don't think you were wrong at all. I think this is the greatest game that we could play right now. Okay, okay, hang on. So, we want one up there. So, step through, boom, and then we want the other one there. All right, there we go. Look at that. I don't even know how I picked him up. But this <laughs> means that I can wield him as a weapon against you. Come here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right. How do I let go? I think E. E? That's correct. All right. The coast is clear. Um, what? How do I say this gently? Why were you having such a hard time getting onto this platform? There's so much room. Well, originally I tried to jump onto it from above, and and uh, uh, yeah, that was not the right there approach. There we go. That makes sense. <laughs> Berkeley's like, your <laughs> university needs to seriously consider revoking your degree. <laughs> I mean, as long as your degree isn't in navigating 2D space, wait, 3D space, I can count these. Can you put your red portal? Yeah, there we go. Safe. Uh, no, not safe. Dead. 
Yay. Blue is back. Testing can continue. All right. Um. Put. Yeah. And then. Oh. But Barma says then you could get a barista degree. Yes. Just what I needed. Okay. I have pressed the button. Do you know what the button did? It lowered a angled pad up there. How do I talk? how do I mark that? F that. Yeah. Okay, a bunch of edgeless safety cubes just launched through at that portal up there. Um, okay. Maybe I can, um... If you put your red one... I think I can launch these. Nice. Um... I thought I could move at the right time and it would angle down and drop them onto you. And then you could use <laughs> them, but the last no. Funny. Ah, I have a real cube now. Oh man, your cube has edges and everything. Uh-huh. Oh, you can put that cube on that button. That didn't work. All right, so you got to put your red one back up on the ceiling panel. Excellent. Everything goes. Okay, can you put your red on this one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't, don't think that was quite it. Don't leap before you look, apparently, is the lesson we learned there. I'm a little bit befuddled. By all this. Uh, put your yellow one on the ceiling panel above you. Will that make me get stuck with you? Probably. Um, maybe. We can both jump into water and... Uh... Okay. If we go fast, I think we can do this. Congratulations. I am sure if I do you think that was the right way to solve that? <laughs> I have never seen a portal level with multiple ways to solve it. It's usually very precise. On the other hand, I don't think the correct solution should involve getting shot at slightly slower than you die. <laughs> <laughs> so, hard nope. to say. The world may never know. Jared, you were telling me that your YouTube Shorts oh, algorithm man. is a little, little funky. So, a little off the mark. I am a man of diverse interest, but I, I do like guns. I have watched gun videos on YouTube in the past. I don't watch them all the time, but my YouTube shorts is pretty much entirely made up of random weird gun tuber videos and weird edits of like hyper masculine hyper masculinized uh tv shows that i've never watched and it just it's really weird because i don't like either of those things all that much 
and I if somebody was judging me or tr had to guess what I was like as a person based on my uh, YouTube shorts algorithm you'd probably think that I was like a super insecure weird trying to be manly man and I, I hope that that's not how I come off, but it just got me thinking, like, how many people out there have the same problem? I'd love to see some cooking videos. I'd love to see machining videos. I really love woodworking videos and crafting videos uh, of different sorts, machining videos, welding videos. I'd love to see more of that stuff. But what do I get served? Ripoffs of TV shows and weird gun tube videos. Oh, nice. Yeah, I realized that I should probably try to be helpful. <laughs> and boy, did it work. Um, that's an interesting conundrum with those algorithms. There's not like a button to say, hey, you've got me all wrong. I guess you could, uh, Instagram has like an, I'm not interested in this button. Yeah. Which I have found helpful. I have tried using the dislike button to do some, some pruning. Mm hmm. Um, no luck. Well, it doesn't seem to really stick very well. I don't know. I wish that, so you know how Facebook has a, <laughs> it's awkward to, to praise Facebook for a feature because usually they're <laughs> not that great, but I have to say that Facebook's ability to tell your feed that you don't want to see this and then say why is pretty cool. And I'm hopeful mm -hmm. that as AI progresses in its ability to parse human language and then respond in a logical way progresses that I'll be able to say, I don't want my entire feed to be gun tuber videos or random people shooting stuff dangerously or television clips. Maybe, maybe we could add some cooking, but maybe the reality is that I should stop waiting for the algorithm to feed me those things and just spend more time searching for them. And then maybe that would, you know, Cause like I'm kind of yeah. stuck in a certain spot with the algorithm, and maybe if I was more assertive <laughs> to my algorithm, it would listen to me. <laughs> okay, hang on. Oh, I just noticed a ball flying through this guy. Okay, we've got a we've got another thing we can do. Oh, that went way over there. Okay, so my dark blue portal is not in the right spot. We've got a semi working setup right now. Falls through there and then Am I supposed to grab it? No. The children must be wrong. Uh, what about that? No? Do you have any other surfaces you can hit from where you are? Oh. I wonder if, if you're able to get one of those portals upside down, I think that it would move the other way. When it came out of the dark blue portal, I think we could get it moving towards me. Are they directionally polar? Um, the top and the bottom matters when it comes to momentum.
Okay, so that's backwards. That's not. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, not working. Dang, okay. Let's see, what else have we got? The Barma says mom's YouTube is super diverse. Does she have a secret? Yeah, it's. Does mom do a lot of searching for specific things? Because maybe that really is the secret. I found on Instagram when I follow people, like if I if I see videos and I just like them or I sit and enjoy them and watch them all the way through and then keep scrolling, it doesn't stick into my algorithm as well as if I go and follow that person. Mm -hmm. Or like I've had a few times where I liked a show and I've gone and just followed all the main cast of that show on Instagram, which I don't usually recommend because <laughs> they don't tend to be interesting long term. But uh, that will like permanently affect my algorithm when I do that. I... This game was so easy the last time we played, wasn't it? Berkeley, I have a suggestion for you. Yes, sir. Once the ball bounces off of this line, um quickly put a portal here i was thinking like because if i move my red portal here it'll make like a ramp that can maybe catch something and then it'll roll down uh, i really want to climb on that but I, it's designed to not let me over the rail i think if you put a portal here yeah and there and I move there yeah that's the right gotta time. be it I messed the timing up sorry okay can you tell me when I can't look well do it success hey got it good thinking to grab it I probably would have let it like roll all the <laughs> way to the end <laughs> Okay, we've got a door up here. Nice. Um, speaking of TV shows permanently affecting my algorithm, my biggest annoyance is that I have so many reels on Instagram and like just images from TV shows that I've never watched before. Uh, specifically Big Bang Theory, Friends, and uh, How I Met Your Mother. Oh, interesting. I th think that there must be like a high overlap between people that like those shows and people that like New Girl. So that's the most similar one that I've enjoyed. Yeah. Oh, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I follow a lot of those actors. Ooh, Babarma says that uh, your mother's YouTube is the default on the TV, so everyone in the house uses it. Oh, that could be... That is like my Spotify. It has a hard time understanding if I only like Disney music or if you have some, a some other thing. Toddler at home. <laughs> All right, hear me out, Berkeley. Come through here. Put your put your red portal on one, and then. Yeah, down there, and then another over there, and then we jump off and hope for the best. Yeah. I am not able to put a portal through your portal. I'm going to have to go back. I bet if you put one on the slanted and then jump off and shoot while you're falling. That's a lot of trust in my dexterity, but I like it. Roll a d20 for me, please. Make a dex saving throw. <laughs> Okay, ready for this this maneuver? Let's do it. Oh, oh no. yeah. <laughs> I, I did a bad job. I hit oh. the side. Where oh, did no. I end up? <laughs> oh, no. Why are you over there? Oh, there's a walkway. Okay, that was close. Okay. 
That was very close to being mildly inconvenient. I think that Did what we need to do... Too far? Okay, I think this is what we need to do. I think one of us... This is why they're numbered. One of us yes. has to go here and here. The other one has to go there and there. Oh, we got And smack. we have to jump at the same time, hit each other, yes. and land on that. Okay, so the challenge with that... Uh, okay, so, yeah, so I have to shoot my blue one, my light blue, and then my dark blue. And once I shoot, we'll start to fall. That is actually kind of nice, because that'll guarantee that we both fall at the right time. That oh, just yeah, is going to be tough point. for you. All right, here goes. Hey. Nice. Did oh, we hug? awesome. Whoa. Press E to hug. It is not working. No, I was just kidding. Doesn't you have a little happen. you have a little safety cube with a hat on your head. Wow. Oh, nice. Cute. Very cool. Game disc. Game disc. Where? Where is it? Here it is. Mmm. Eat it. Delicious. In just a moment, the word blah will be repeated over and over again. If at some point you hear a number rather than the word blah, ignore it. It is not important. Today's security blah, code blah, is 533-4118. I don't know if that's significant at all, but... That's the numbers. Nice job. Are you gonna be able to remember that? Because I already forgot it. Five three three forty one eighteen. I got it. Nice. Berkeley, you used to do. You and I used to have jobs that involved some similar things when you uh -huh. were loading reels onto uh, pick and place machines. Yeah. Did you have to memorize the part numbers and then load them on? How did that work for you guys? Ours was very much like you have to memorize the number and then put it in the right place and make sure that it's all correct by hand. There was not a lot of safety checks. And we frequently had people who were bad at that and put the wrong part on a, a reel and then populated hundreds and sometimes thousands of the wrong part onto a run of circuit boards. So mm, how did that work for you guys? That sounds awful. Um, let me give you a little more context first for anyone who has not worked at a pick and place oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> circuit board manufacturing <laughs> center. Um, Jared and I weirdly both had the same very specific job where, well, Jared's was a lot broader than mine. You got to do cooler things. Um, but at least my part of my job was there was an assembly line that would make circuit boards. Circuit long. boards need parts on them. And so my job was to go and get like the reels of parts. It was like a big reel of film. Colors. Except I'm instead of sure film, like it was that. like parts that were in these little plastic tapes. Um, and then you had to load those into the machine so that the machine had the right parts to put onto the circuit board. Um, so... I don't remember having to memorize numbers. I remember memorizing some on accident. Like I still remember 321 was a really common prefix for these 10 digit part numbers. Uh, there were a bunch of 108s. I liked those. They were a little bit wider and easier. <laughs> the 321s were very small. Yeah. Anyway, um, but whenever we were like letting the machine know what, uh, what was available, um, we were scanning barcodes, so there wasn't a ton of room for human error. I do remember searching, like typing parts into a computer often, because that's when I got really fast with a number pad on a keyboard. I think that that was mostly, um, like if, if a part was missing, we would search to find out if they had stock somewhere else in the building. <laughs> oh, gruesome. I'm amazed you're still on friendly terms. 
Okay. Um, I'm not really sure how to do this without a second person. I can help you. Hang on. Oh, wait. I've got an idea. Yeah. Oh, nice. I hope it carries us through this door. That'd be pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. You know, we had a barcode scanner to scan the parts into a spreadsheet of parts used in that run, but we still had to type everything in by hand. And the... We had the little like metal feeders that you feed the real tape into that opens up the tape that covers the part so the little pick and place suction piece can get at it. Mm -hmm. um, and those had part numbers assigned to them and I don't know how you in the computer. I really don't. But the uh, the for whatever reason, not all of them worked. So we had to do a lot of that manually. Interesting. So, like, one feeder was already associated with a part? Yeah. Just permanently? Okay, we had m much fewer feeders than parts. Same. And so that's what we were scanning, is, like, right before we loaded the reels into the machine, we would, like, scan each feeder and then scan each part. And that's how it, that's how it knew what was in the feeder. Maybe that's the same as what you were saying. Mm, similar. Oh man, I was trying to set you up to get cut in half by that laser, but it didn't work. Uh, I'll try it anyway. <laughs> I feel like you earned that one. Oh, dang it. It's <laughs> 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 a prank in a prank. Alright, hang on here. So we have force beam. We have an upper level that throws you through force field. Does the force beam stop when it hits the force field? No. So, oh man, I gotta put I it know. on fire. That try it again. Try it again. This it'll work this time. <laughs> this time's definitely the time it'll work. I trust you so much right now. Oh uh, hey, look at that! Look at it. Amazing. Ooh, I'm gonna press this button and be rewarded with an edgeless safety cube. Too bad oh, there's but not a laser in there. Trapped. Oh, it got trapped. Uh, I I untrapped it. No, it was okay. I open this for you. I don't know what to do next. Let me. Can you throw the ball up over the edge of the wall there on your uh, rear left? Or down there? <laughs> Is that not what you wanted? <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's uh, this, this area. Um. I don't think I'm tall enough. Hey, success. First try. <laughs> All right, so now there's a portal in there, which is interesting, which makes me think maybe we put the blue beam. Ooh, in there. Okay. Yeah, I had you do the wrong thing. We're going to have to send you back. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> I trust you so much right now. <laughs> I'm going to bring the ball with me, even though it's going to dissolve, just because it's my comfort ball. No, my comfort ball. <laughs> but Barma got trapped in the trap house. <laughs> That's me. All right. So now if you. Let's see here. Is that a. Uh... Oh, neato. So if you jump and put the ball into this flow and then put your portals on either side of the laser area. Yeah. On the way. Yeah, it's a real shame we couldn't get one of us into the laser. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Oh, hey, look. Portal 2 predicted Twitter's name change. <laughs> it went away as soon as we completed the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I can't bite my tongue anymore. 
That's pretty good. How do you guys feel about Elon Musk changing the name of Twitter to X? I think it's so funny. I, like, especially with the history behind that. Um, how he bought X.com, like, in the early 2000s. Tried to use it for PayPal. I think tried to use it one other time. And now he's using it for Twitter. Like, it's obviously that he had an idea a while ago and is still just trying to prove that it's a good idea. Yeah, and you don't need Without. good ideas if you have old ideas to fall back on, right? Mm-hmm. Feels like a big ego points. trip. I just don't like it when companies use common name things for company names. So a company that mm. I worked for changed its name to a very common scientific unit of measurement. Oh. And it just rubs me the wrong way, man. And maybe that's why. Maybe it's my feelings about my experience there. I don't know. I but feel it, like it can I feel like it can pay off. Like I don't think anyone's mad at Apple or Target anymore. Maybe they were at one point. I know the Beatles were mad at Apple. <laughs> Uh, Babarma says pretentious. Susie Moo says, I never really used Twitter, so I deleted my account. Nice. That the is only way. such a Chad thing to do. <laughs> that's, that's a good thing, right? I can never keep track. I think so. <laughs> Depends on, I guess, how you feel about Chad. All right. Uh, okay, so that little door thing that flips down is interesting because we could fly up to it if we wanted to. I think, yeah, I think you need to fly up to it, get stuck, and then put a portal here, and that'll carry you across. Okay, so the first step is figuring out how to get anywhere close to that. Um, yeah, I don't know how to get that high. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, we talked about this a little bit on one of the other portal streams, but as you progress through the story mode, you start out in these like pristine testing rooms that are clearly designed specifically for portal activities. And then things slowly degrade until you're not in any sort of testing environment. And it's it's pretty neat in my opinion. I I thought it was fun. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that part as well. Do you think you can jump down there and... Uh, oh, I remember how to do this. I remember how to do this from single player. Okay. Sorry, I lied. Um, I think you're going to want a portal. Wait, I'll do this part. Okay, you're going to jump into that and go to the ceiling. Oh, that's so clever. Yep. And then when you're ready, you can put your portal on the base. And that'll make you fall. And you'll have to put yours on the cross beam. Yes. Tell me when. Let's count three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Look at that teamwork. Wow. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. So now I have this cube that we're going to um, need. I think you're just going to toss that down and I'll put it on that button that I was on. And then I'll just have to repeat the steps that you just did. Okay, I think I... While we're on the topic of deleting Twitter and how, how brave and good that is to do, <laughs> uh... I, um, a while ago I gave like some things that have worked for me on like not having social media control my life as much as it has in the past. Um, and I remembered another one, which is that, uh, like turning off notifications on all social media apps has been 10 out of 10. Great tool for, a. Uh, dang it great tool for not letting social media control my life yeah i did that with my instagram 
because uh, I was getting all sorts of just random notifications I didn't want or need. And that was awesome. I do not regret it. Nice. Okay, Jared, um, I'm going to do a three, two, one, go. And when I say go, I think you need to put one right there. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. I did the wrong one. <laughs> there I go into the trash compactor again. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. All right. I have... So I, I mostly stopped using Facebook a while ago. And since then, I, I still hop on like once a week to check messages and notifications. And I have noticed that the notifications have gotten so silly. Like it'll be friend A commented on friend B's post when I hadn't interacted with the post at all. Uh-huh. Yep. Um, Instagram does the same thing to me because I've got three different Instagram accounts that I'm logged into on my phone. And so I often will not check one of them for a while. And that one will always be like, so-and-so that you follow, followed this person that you've never heard of. Yeah. So it's it's funny how they'll like use those notifications to try to draw you back in. And it's so like transparent once you know what to look for. So don't don't be a slave to the notifications. That's right. Go to your social media when you want it, not when it wants you. Or just okay. never use it again. <laughs> Become you... a monk, a hermit, <laughs> then make good wages. Accept tradition. Reject modernity. Modernity. Um, yeah. So you'll want a dark blue one there, I think. Right? Light no, blue. No, light blue. Yep. Okay. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I feel so good about this. <laughs> Where are you doing? <laughs> that was awesome. From my perspective, your feet were kicking like a frog swimming. <laughs> if you want to hop back up in there and then hit tab. Bad news. I can't. I can't get out. How, how have you done this? <laughs> <laughs> have you tried getting good? Ah, uh, nice. yes. That's what I was missing. Get good. Get wrecked. Brutal. Yeah, I, I made a Twitter when I was in high school, my senior year, and I believe I posted a total of seven times, and then I deleted it because... The Twitter that I was exposed to was pretty much just people picking fights with each other. And I don't need that in my life. We all love some drama, but there's, in my, in my experience, there's plenty of it to go around without, uh, without weird manufactured drama from people I don't know. Which is kind of the same reason I don't follow, like, tablets or I don't know entertainment news that much oh I thought that I had solved this so easily but there's like this screen in my way <laughs> move your red portal down a little bit and then uh, oh hang on oh that's not what I wanted to do <laughs> Here I go. No. oh no uh well, the bad news is that you're definitely, oh, better than me at this game. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, I wow. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do next, Very though. good. Just go with the flow, man. Just all the way? Some problems solve themselves. That's why I keep telling my project manager at work, but uh, he doesn't believe me. Okay, where I work, the project... I'd, okay, no offense to anybody who is a project manager. There are some very competent, capable, and impressive project managers out there. There are also some project managers who just are not trying at all. And it's very clear. And, mm. oh boy. Oh boy. Or they just don't understand, like, how... 
things work, how challenging some sorts of problems can be and whatnot. I don't know. That's life. People of all sorts are all over the place. That is the truth. All right, we've got a thing that we need to point a laser into. Have you seen any lasers? Yes. Nice. How do I get there? I want to go to there. Um, um, can you... Whoa. I did not mean to step on that. Can you portal uh, 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 there? And there? Or... Oh, nice. That was so much better than what I said. That's probably uh, not going to work. Rats. Hang on. Uh, yeah, what we're going to need... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some problems solve themselves. Great. Oh, no. What what happened? I need that thing. Oh, this is going to be so hard. I think I need to drop that cube to you. Okay. I guess let's just start trying it. Do it. Uh, three, two, one, push. Oh, it three, falls really two, slow. Okay. Three, do it two, one, push. All right, well, that one was probably on me. I think I just straight up missed it. But that was good timing. Three, two, one, push. Nah, okay, I need to wait a little bit. <laughs> that was so funny watching you not even be close to it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Three, two, one, push. Wow. Again. Um, by the way, I'm not counting so you know when to go. I'm counting so you can calibrate based on when I push it and know oh, what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I, Three, I, two, one, push. I did gather that much. Okay, cool. Wow. It really just said no. Oh, I, <laughs> wait. Do it again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you didn't count that time? <laughs> Come on. Look at that. All right, um, so you need it up there. Here, yeah, just uh, put it put it right back there in that stream. Oh my goodness. I want to come along too and see what's <laughs> up here. <laughs> You're just swimming. <laughs> swimming through here, I love it. Okay, it's about to get lasery up in here. Ooh, don't cut me in half. Or do, that's, you know, entirely up to your discretion. <laughs> I might be a little trapped up here if I do cut you in half. Okay. <clears throat> now. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> that wasn't right. Okay. Now I'm gonna. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Berkeley. Berkeley, are you trying to, to manslaughter me? <laughs> Just a little bit. A suspicious workplace accident? That is the subtitle of the game portal. <laughs> Are you trying to manslaughter me in a suspicious workplace accident? It's, it's a long subtitle, but it fits. <laughs> that actually okay. is pretty accurate to the plot of the game, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, all right. So we have the laser. Now we need to figure out where the sensor is because it is not on that door. Yeah, so I, you need to be very careful not to make a light blue portal. Can you, yes. Can you commit to doing that and not dying? <laughs> that is a pretty bit, big ask, but I will I will certainly give it my best shot. Okay. Where um, is and then I need sensor? to figure out how to get you. Is it on that platform, but I'm just not seeing it? Oh, yeah, um, there it is. Sensor... Uh, over there. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So okay, how's that gonna work? Um so I definitely you... need to put a Yeah, if you ahead. can get your lifting to lift me into the 
Uh, let's see, I need you to be more up near my blue, dark blue. I was wrong. Uh, um, you just need to drop into the yellow one. Oh. Or not into the yellow one, like into yes. the source. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> 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 the moral of the story is watch where you're walking. Look at him go. I'm going to just come there as well because I think we're about solved on this. That's what you think. Yep. You, yep. That is what I think. What do you think it would feel like to be in one of those traveling beams? Probably, it probably feels so good. Like a full body massage all the time. Just stop it already. You don't need to do that. Are you doing that just to aggravate me? You know how they make those like pools that have lots of salt water? Yeah. And, like no lights, so you can just be totally sensationless? Yeah. Exactly body temperature? I feel like it would feel like that. I have always wanted to try a sensory deprivation tank, it's a super fascinating concept but they're expensive and Orange. How well do you really know blue? part of me you wonders if I would just come out of it really annoyed at everything <laughs> because I'm already overwhelmed by too much sound or people. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so like going in and finally getting reprieve and then coming out again would make it <laughs> 10 times worse. Interesting. Chat, have any of you ever tried or wanted to try sensory deprivation chamber? The closest I've ever come was being in a snow cave. Snow is a great sound dampener, and you're already so cold anyway that you need to wear tons of warm clothing, and so you can like control your temperature surprisingly well. Didn't get the weightlessness, but... uh. Other than that, it was pretty good. Do we need to start building sound studios inside of uh, snow caves? Um, maybe. Um, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> the right. promise says soaking in one sounds interesting. Yep. Okay. Can you reverse it now? Yes, I can. I'm going to come put this cube on a button. Title of your autobiography. Oh, wait. But then what? That is indeed the question. We need, Man, I was so confident. We need to put it somewhere that will raise these gates. Um, if you... Can you get back up there? Uh, yeah. On the button? Yeah. No, uh, in, the, in the stream of the... How did I get up there? Oh. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to put the cube right... Wait, should I bring the cube with me? Yes. Okay, so you're going to go through that and back. Okay, so now I need to reverse this. And then you go through light blue, out dark. So light blue goes there. Then we'll send you back through. Whoa, nice. Are you stuck yeah. up there? No, I can get up. Okay. Awesome. 
Nice. Yeah, that was not bad. I was asking if Orange trusted you. Um, how are you doing on time? Do you want to do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Cooperative testing subject. Do you think that robots would be offended by humans doing a dance called the robot? Orange, I agree. Only if we programmed them to be offended by it. Blue. Mm. Blue. Is there something That's you would fair. Like to say? Unless they were like AI. That could gener approximate the human psyche. But for robots, that's not going to work oh, out for you gonna... well. Yep. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Nice. Here, let me help. <laughs> okay, now you go. <laughs> one of us. One of us. So then All you right, put one I... at the end. And do you see anywhere else? Oh, nice. Okay. What? Oh, man. Spikes fell from the ceiling and hit me in the eye. What was that about? Is that the on the timer? Says AI cultural appropriation. I mean, it could be. Could be. How dare you tell me things that aren't actually facts, like they're facts. That's, that could be, I mean, you know, because AI is hallucinate. That was kind of a stretch. I'm going to blame that one on sleep deprivation. Yeah, let's watch what happens here. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. Um, it just sank down and killed me. Can we try it one more time without you placing any portals just for my own enjoyment? Yep. <laughs> now let's do a silly one. <laughs> Up and down, up and down. I'm imagining it would feel being in one of these beams would feel like maybe being in like a a lazy river, but it's air mm -hmm. pushing you or something. Okay, okay. so that's I've definitely not going to work. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put a portal right there. And then I'm going to... Uh, nice. The the sound helped, in case you were wondering. Oh, yeah. It did almost sound like you are about to throw up. <laughs> Maybe yeah, it was fear. by design. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks, man. Now, See, the idea I had was to jump from one stream to the other stream. And then I used my portal gun to make portals. That's, so that's yes, very much good. That one. We are alone. Blue can't hear you. That's horrible. I can only imagine. What a horrible little machine. Do you know what that button did? Oh, reverse, reverse. Do I need to make some portals for you to use? Uh, yes. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh no. I probably can do it with just mine. I just need to be clever. So well, when I'm... it pulls, I can pull down towards the bottom. So I just put mine enough to pull you. I'll let you decide what to do from there. Yeah. Okay. So once I come through your red... Let me get about halfway down and then move your yellow to the. Oh, that thing's yeah. going to kill you. It is. Okay, move your yellow to the one across from you. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually slightly terrifying to see you waiting at the end of the beam for me. <laughs> Blue, do you feel 
betrayed by Orange for telling me those horrible things about you. If Orange had said All right. those things about hey, me, we did it. For solving, we're problem solvers, to and today we solved station. at least one problem. We solved so many. <sighs> that was good. All right, uh, Berkeley. Any closing thoughts to share with the people? Thanks for watching us play Portal. Fun chatting with you. Follow our Discord or join our Discord. Chat with us. Follow us on Twitch and YouTube and Instagram. Links are in our link tree in the about section of our page if you're on Twitch or the description of this video if you're on YouTube. Yeah. Also, the random thought that I just had. I've been playing a cowboy game and it's made me want to watch cowboy movies. So if you have a cowboy movie that you like, go to our Discord and share it in the random channel and I will try to watch it and then play as one of the characters in my cowboy game for fun. I'll, I'll play, I'll pretend to be one of the movie people, but in the video game. And nice. you won't get to see that because it's just, it'll just be me, but hey, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll tell you about it. All right. Well, thanks again for coming out and please don't leave me hanging on this cowboy movies. I'm serious. I want to dress up like a gunfighter in my game so bad. Please give me cool gunfighter people from your movies. All right. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye. <laughs>